another episode of Pad. Oh, let's get this over with. And here's my pool. I don't swim, so that's where I throw my shrimp shells. Get the Turbo Diary from Girl Tech. No one can read your secrets except you. Unauthorized user. Access denied. Mom, Dad, my birthday's coming up, and Girl Tech Turbo Diaries are in stores now. I agree. A girl should have her own private diary. I had to share mine with my uncle. For free samples. One Turbo Diary, please. I'm sorry, sir, but I just sold the last Turbo Diary to that guy. Finally, Smithers, a device worthy of storing my top secret enemies list. Oh, now what am I going to get, Lisa? Sir, I can offer you this Tickle Me Krusty, the most popular toy of 1999. I'm anatomically correct. Go ahead, take a peek. This kiosk sells personalized movies. I had one made star Little Rod. Kiosk Productions present... Greetings! I am Commander... Rod! Welcome, Earthling! What are your hobbies? Hey, your kid is in the movie! And the movie knows his name! Maybe Lisa will like this better than the diary! Stupid Flanders, you're a genius! A laser pointer! Thanks, Bart! Appears to be a red dot on my trouser front. I better lower them. <sighs> the dot also appears to be on my underpants. Well, down they go. I wonder what this could be. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But it's a personalized video about my favorite little star, Lisa Simpson. Well, this could be fun. I sure am hungry for my favorite food. McNuggets. I don't like McNuggets. I'm a vegetarian. Still? Then you're not going to like your other present. That information is all wrong. Maggie's a baby, not my best friend. You don't know anything about me. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, honey. Did you cry out all your angries? I don't think so. Oh, Lisa's still mad at me. Dad, you've had eight years to get to know me. It's too late. But I'm full of questions. What's your favorite cigar size? Oh. My daughter hates me because I don't know anything about her. Ah. Well, whenever I gotta know something about abroad, I use this guy. Well, if hiring this guy will make Lisa like me again, then I'll do it. Can I get this beer to go? Sure. Drunk cop. Is that you? No. Look lower. Ooh. Hi. I need you to find out everything about my daughter so she'll think I'm a good dad. Okay, I'll get a line on your kid. I charge 50 bucks a day, plus expenses. I need to see Lisa Simpson's permanent record. No, I'm afraid that information is confidential. Oh, wouldn't I? I could easily put them back in their original order. Oh, really? You're late, months. Get bent, Seamus. I got what you're looking for. Nice. Lisa Simpson is a girl at my school. Yes, yes, you said that already. What else do you know? I once picked my nose till it bleeded. So far, it's so good. <gasps> Lisa's pet peeve is phonies? I thought she loved them. You should know. It is your favorite album. So you know one thing about me. Big deal. On the way home, we could stop and get your favorite treat. Ice cream. What do we want? Uh, young lady, why are you protesting today? Because this lab is cruelly testing consumer products on animals. Take a look for yourself. They're making monkeys smoke cigarettes. And look at the way they've slathered those pigs with cosmetics. So sad. Yet so sexy, yet so delicious. Well, we should get along. I mean, after all, I am your father. How'd you think of such perfect things for us to do? You did it. Lisa thinks I'm the greatest. A thousand dollars? How did you spend a thousand dollars? It's itemized. A forty dollar steak? Yeah, but if I'd eaten the whole thing, it would have been free. You better pay up, Simpson. <laughs> 
Chief, do you have any suspects at this time? Well, we do have several promising clues and a book report on the secret garden by Lisa Simpson. <gasps> I was framed. You believe me, don't you, Dad? Of course I do. It's all my fault for refusing to pay. Can Lisa come out with her hands up? This'll take your mind off them. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Blackening our hair was a great idea, Dad. I look just like a Powerpuff girl. I look just like Elvis. Oh. Sign here, Mr. Uppercut. Let me just put on my glasses. Ah. Uh. Life on the lamb is really hard, but at least it's with you, Dad. The man who framed you is a crooked detective, who I hired. Why did you do that? To find out everything about you so I'd seem like a good father. How could you? All right, Simpsons, the jig is up. <laughs> oh, a banana. Who's a... It's full of cigarette butts. Those are the test animals. The detective must have sold them to the circus. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? You can't shoot all of us. Damn it! Oh, Lisa has excellent hearing. Once when she was three, I was quietly sobbing in the closet and she found me. Oh, Dad, you do remember something about me. I can't see. Well, it wasn't easy, honey. But I'm glad you love me again. Yeah, but what's going to happen to the animals? Don't worry, honey. I released them all into the wild. Happy birthday to you! <gasps> huh? It sends now. Dad, you're out of shape even for an American. I'll just focus on one area. You know how many fires are started by birthday candles? If you do, tell me. It would settle a bet down at the station house. I say five, Gus says a million. <sighs> we need to find a way to protect our irreplaceables. Okay, everyone gets to put one precious item in our fireproof safe. For me, it's the family photo album. I picked my Malibu Stacy Hybrid Convertible. It runs on her old makeup and out-of-style shoes. I'm going with the cologne I wore on our first date. <laughs> I'm putting in my Catch a Rising Krusty doll. Uh, no, wait, don't! <laughs> What's that coming out of the safe? <laughs> it's not like we can restage all our family photos. Reese? Stage the photos. Lisa, you fool, you've doomed us all. No! Our new photos are back! Oh. Ah! That's why I got duplicates. Oh my god. Check out what's happening behind your restaged anniversary dinner. Duffman's on a date with Booberella. <gasps> He's supposed to be in a stable, long-term gay relationship. Hmm. This is a celebrity scandal. This is good. Real good. Like Lindsay Lohan looking drunk, high, and bony. Click, click, career over. See you in the gutter, Freckles. Homer, I'll pay you 200 bucks. Bring me more snaps like this, and I'll make you a moderately wealthy man.
Okay, boy. This is that snooty supermarket all the celebrities shop at. You're going to help me ambush them. <gasps> There's the rich Texan and his daughter, Paris Texan. Hey, Paris, I saw a disgusting part of your body on the Internet. Your face. I'm still breaking in this nose. <laughs> 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 For that, isn't it, Freddy? Your hip hop CD was boastful and unnecessary. Okay, here we go. <coughs> uh. Boy, I never thought I'd have my own dark room. Yes, but why does it have to be in my bedroom? Please, you can't stay here if you're gonna keep talking. It's 11 at night and I can't get to sleep. That photo's mine. That photo's mine. Well, I do like the extra money, but I think maybe you should stop exploiting human beings' private misfortunes. See, Marge, everyone says they hate these magazines, but it's impossible to set them down. Did I attach the harness? No! Should I attach it for you? If you don't mind! Do you... Rainer Luftwaffe Wolfcastle, take Maria Shriver Kennedy Quimby to be your lawful wedded witness. Up, up, and annoy! <laughs> First Amendment rules, privacy jewels! Yes. Time to squash that shutterbug. <laughs> Greetings, famous faces and sizzling stars. <laughs> Thank you for responding to my evite. I wish to discuss our mutual enemy, Homer Simpson. <laughs> Let me introduce the world's greatest celebrity shutterbug, Enrico Iritazio. Buona giorno. I take embarrassing pictures of Homer. Harass him day and night. Now, Maggie, I had to use your car seat to hold a new TV guide. So I'm gonna hang you from the mirror. Smile! Can I even have privacy here? This. I thought we were friends. I have no friends. Friends take time, and time is money, and money pays for things, like a manicure and a boiled egg. Sweetie, maybe it's time you retired from paparazziing. It's never fun to get a taste of your own medicine. You're right. I'm giving up photography. <laughs> With how much Simpson out of the day, we can go back to our lives of sybaritic excess. <laughs> Who I can't stand? That Robin Williams. You know, one time I saw him eating dinner with his children. He wouldn't take the time out to do all the funny bits from his movies. And my sister once saw Burt Reynolds at an airport, and he wouldn't even co-sign a mortgage. Ah, Homer, don't be so quick to abandon this paparazzo thing. Yeah, it's an American tradition to cut people down to size because they've brought so much joy into our lives. You guys are right. I should get back in the game. Oh, but I threw away my camera. Oh, here, use this one. I was going to use it to take secret photos in a lady's toilet, but uh, no dames ever come in this joint. Thanks, Mo. Sure. How do you want your comeuppance? Providing you celebrities do something for me. I want you all to show some respect for the people who made you what you are. Sign an autograph or two. Support a charity for something that hasn't happened to a member of your family. Pat is good doing real things with real people. Say, Rainier, you're in show business. Would you mind taking a look at this screenplay I wrote? Well, at least it got made. I love it when Mr. Burns shows a movie at work. I'm not sitting up front with you guys. It's bad for your eyes. <laughs> Suckers. The American Worker. Proud. Tough. Hard-working.
and tired. These jobs are killing us. Outsourcing, take them away. With the best kind of sourcing, outsourcing. Effective immediately, I am closing the plant and moving all operations to India. <laughs> However, federal law requires I keep one union worker on the payroll, so congratulations whoever catches this bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I win! In your face, best friend! What's a MacGyver, and why does it have a convention? Richard Dean Anderson. Did someone mention my names? Oh, <gasps> Richard Dean Anderson! Whoa! <laughs> You're into MacGyver? That show was so stupid. That show was just a paycheck to me, and nothing more. Richard Dean Anderson, of the four star franchises, Wars, Trek, Gate, and Search, Gate is easily my third favorite. I get that a lot. Hey, Lego! Hey, watch the face. I need that for acting. There is a girl in the audience. Everybody look for her. <laughs> this is a kilt, and I'm not a girl. Surprise! This is kidnapping. This isn't a kidnapping. No. Think of it as a two-on-one MacGyver convention. You can write help me all you want. No one will ever see it. <laughs> Homie, I got you something to read on the plane. Woohoo! A book? Oh. Thanks, sweetie. I've never been less angry to receive a book. Oh. This isn't India. Where's the University of Notre Dame? The Indy 500? Wrigley Field? Dodger Dogs? You ignorant American. You have confused India with Indiana. Hello? Lisa, it's me. I'm in trouble. Calm down, Dad. What happened? A cow took my iPod and I punched it. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Ooh, did you lose weight? Oh. oh, come on, baby. Don't play hard to milk. Oh. Brown eyes, black hair. <laughs> Escape! Why did you come back? To tell you how I escaped. Abra Cadabra. Tie me up so I can do it again. But this time, don't make it so easy. No! Too much? Not for MacGyver. Yeah. Why did you want to make an entrance like that, sir? I am a showman. You know, Mo, that sign is powered by non-American workers. So what? Your beer's German and the TV's Japanese. Well, is there anything in this bar that's made in America? Just this. <laughs> now, tell them how to run a nuclear plant. Uh... In business, as in breakfast, fried eggs have fragile yolks. Huh? Huh? Oh, he's got the meeting out of his hand. And to think you doubted him, Smithers. Uh, sir, can we talk about this arranged marriage of mine? <laughs> I can't sleep at night, because there's this new bully who follows me home, and... I think he's in the house. Outsourcing. Dallas-Fort Worth Marriott, how can I help y'all? Why, we have a cotton bowl special. Go, Aggies! This is Queen Mama Jumbo. The stars tell me you have a question. Next. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. You lock me in the trunk of a car and park it under the pier at low tide. Can we do it during lunch? No! <sighs> We're crowding your plate. In fact, there's no need for us to be here at all. Let's go, Smithers. You're giving me absolute power? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for a dinner engagement. <laughs> I don't want my scooped-out monkey head to get cold. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Got the Elephant Man, Johnny Six Arms, Papa Smurf. These guys are pretty cool. Maybe I am one of them. Uh, sir, I really don't think we should have left Simpson in charge. No office took. I'm floating down the Ganges with my new chums. Those are corpses. You never like my friends. Behind one of these doors is Homer Simpson. Behind the other, a Bengal tiger. Choose wisely. 
Tigers. One of those tigers is named Homer Simpson. No. Welcome home! We gotta get rid of this kook. I got an idea. Well, we thought maybe you would like to see some of our globe-trotting adventures. <clears throat> this is us at the Alberta Canada Carriage Museum. That's a Phaeton, Landau, Buckboard, Post Chaise, Surrey, Surrey. MacGyver away! <laughs> Well, he's gone. Yeah. So, Mr. Burns, you're saying my dad has gone insane and thinks he's a god and broken off all contact with the outside world? Mom, I'm scared. Holy stop! You're not a god! Marge? You're just a sweet guy from Springfield who wanted his family to have a better life. Well, I, uh, I am a god! He's not a god! We know that. We follow him because of the secrets he tells us. What secrets? He told us of overtime pay. And coffee break. This man told you about these things? Yes. In fact, he gave them to us in a binding contract. A bomb shabai means vote union. A bomb shabai. But treating employees like human beings, that is madness! Oh, you appear ill, Sahib. Maybe you should take a personal day. Take one of mine. They're transferable. I want to go home. How's Chief Wiggum? <clears throat> he was gravely wounded in a bank shootout. Yeah, he's funny. Fired! 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 Two months severance. Only retirement. Golden parachutes for all. Har ke liye koi humne pyaar kar le, jhootha hi sahi. Do din ke liye koi ikrar kar le. Oh, go ahead and join them, Smithers. I know you want to. Tujhko chup chup ke dekha. 